Hey guys, it's Peachy. Recently, I made some ice cream heels that are perfect for summertime. If you can walk in heels, that is. If you like this DIY, make sure to subscribe and hit bell notifications for new project ideas. I first saw these shoes on Facebook. They're from a company called Shoe Bakery. Their shoes are really cute, but they cost a couple hundred dollars. I'll be painting these heels I bought from Ardeen for less than $10 on sale. My wallet was very happy. I've never painted shoes before, so I decided it would be a good idea to add a layer of Mod Podge first just to make the surface more even and to kind of like protect it. I think these shoes have a synthetic leather material, but I'm not too sure. Then to make the waffle part, I used a glue gun to draw the sauce outline. Then I used it to create some straight lines in one direction, and then I crossed them to make a grid waffle pattern. The glue gun was a bit messy to work with. I always get these thin strands of glue that are annoying. I try to wipe them off with a paper towel though. And then I mixed up some brown acrylic paint to paint the waffle section. And I was just wondering, do you guys like to eat ice cream with a waffle cone or with that? Because I personally love waffles, but let me know down in the comments below. I kind of had a brain fart at this next step. I tried to make my own puffy paint because it's really nice and thick and it looks more ice cream-like. But puffy paint is made from shaving cream, but I didn't have that, so I tried to use face wash instead. And then I tried to use shampoo. And it wasn't really lathering well, so I lathered up my hands and kind of scraped it into the bowl. Uh, very questionable moves by me. Also, I was stupid, and I forgot that puffy paint is actually shaving cream, plus glue, and then paint. So I totally just forgot about adding glue. You can tell I did a lot of research. <laughs> so when I used the paint, it just looked weird and gross and runny. So that plan was abandoned. So I ended up mixing my cornstarch with my acrylic paint in like a one-to-one -one ratio. And I decided to use white paint for the ice cream part because I think white goes with more outfits than pink, but I do really love the pink ice cream heels as well. And I think it helped build up thickness, although my mixture was kind of runny and it dripped onto the waffle part. And I had to repaint that part again. So moral of the story is, go buy puffy paint or shaving cream. And also my cornstarch paint kind of cracked a little bit after it dried and I had to use Mod Podge and more paint to fix it up. And then for the chocolate sauce, I just painted brown paint on top of the white paint, but it wasn't very 3D. So I had to go back and retrace the outline with more hot glue and then repaint it again. So to make the scrumpty delicious whipped cream decoration on top, I decided to use paper clay. And since I don't own any cake piping tips, I just rolled out four pieces of clay, twisted them together, then folded it in half again before molding it into a circle shape. Then I did the same thing again to add a second layer to the whipped cream and I twisted the end of it to make a nice swirly swirl. For the sprinkles, I rolled out some polymer clay and used scissors to cut them into smaller pieces. I think you could also just use air dry clay if you want to. And after I baked them, I used glue to glue down each sprinkle onto the chocolate sauce. For the cherries, I used paper clay to roll out two balls. Then I deformed a green paper clip. Sorry, Mr. Paperclip. And cut it into two to make two stems. I dug out my red nail polish and painted the clay cherries with it. Then I used glue to put them back on top of the swirls. Actually use hot glue for this, it's probably better. My glue is really weak. And your ice cream shoes are done. 
I don't know when I would ever wear mine. Maybe to a wedding or a barbecue or a picnic or maybe a fancy tea party if I get invited to those. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you give this a try, make sure to send it to me on Instagram. Please subscribe for more DIY projects. I'll see you next week. Peace.